my name's Sharon Foley and I'm the CEO of the Irish Hospice Foundation. I want to thank you all and thank our speakers for coming out tonight. And I was thinking as I came up here, if I went down the road um, expecting a baby to Hollis Street, I'd walk in the door and they'd say to me, where is your birth plan? What are your plans for your birth? What are your plans for when the baby's born? What are you going to do? Are you going to breastfeed? Are you going to bottle feed? I would be asked all that question as expected. And there'd be a whole infrastructure put in around me having my child um, um, up in, in Hollis Street, or indeed any of the maternity hospitals around the country. But if there's one thing we can be fairly sure of, we're fairly sure all of us, 100% of us have been born, we can be fairly sure 100% of us will die. So the same level of planning and thought and consideration just doesn't come into play around end of life. And 2009, we were very conscious of that when we embarked on a year-long consultation around the country to ask people to get their opinions. What is it you think should be put in place around end of life? What is it people want to see, see happening? And we were amazed by the response. And this report is up, on, is up on our website. And it really is. I go back to it again and again. I learn something new every time. It's the perspectives on end of life, the report of the forum 2009. And many of our speakers who are here tonight actually were involved with that forum at the time. And a recurring theme that came through those discussions was the need to allow people autonomy, to be able to plan for the end of their life, and in particular to plan around their health care and what will be providing care at, at end of life. A lot of discussion about advanced care directives. So that's the context of where it came from. And out of that, we developed an um, um, initiative called Think Ahead. And basically what Think Ahead is, it's a form, but it's more than a form. It's a form when you can record what you want at the end of your life. So that might be your care, it might be your funeral, it might be who looks after your children, it might be lots of things. It's what you, you in your own right mind, while you're fit and healthy, want to think about at the end of your life. And in that is a piece around what you might want for your healthcare needs at the end of the life. Now to date we've been doing that without having the, the, I suppose the, the support of a national legislative framework. They are, they are recognised in, in, in law, but we don't have a, a national legislative framework for advanced care drugs, and that's what this is, this is about. So I'm not going to speak much more, because I am not the expert. We have lots of experts here tonight. But we've been organised, this meeting has been organised tonight by the Forum and End of Life, and that the Forum is an initiative of the Irish Hospice Foundation. And it's to explore the general scheme for advanced healthcare directives, which was re recently published by the Department of Health, and to help you, the citizen, to make up your mind about what you want, want to say about that, that um, um, healthcare bill, and to be able to feed it into the Department of Health as well. We're very, very lucky to have a very distinguished panel here with us tonight. Dr. Liam Toomey, TD, who's a GP and also um, um, a politician who published his own bill on advanced care directives and been a tremendous support of, source of support and advice to the Irish Hospice Foundation, indeed to, to the Irish public in terms of advanced care planning. Professor Richard, Rickard, Patricia Rickard-Clark, who is, uh, I suppose, Irish, Ireland's greatest expert, I think, on advanced care directives, and all that comes, comes back. And every time I listen to Patricia, I learn a hu huge amount. Dr. Brendan O'Shea, who's the back of the engine room, he's getting his photograph there taken, who's, uh, he, Brendan has been taking, uh, he's a GP working in Eagledare, and has been taking the Think Head and using it out in the community, in nursing homes, and with his, his patient group, to see, does this actually work? And he's telling us it does work, and it actually makes sense. And Dr. Siobhan O'Sullivan, who's the chief bioethicist with the Department of Health of Children, who's been responsible for drafting most of this bill, and who's going to give her perspective from the Department of Health and Children as well. So you're very welcome tonight, and I'd invite to speak first Dr. Liam Toomey, TD.